Look out, here she comes The woman that I love It's too bad she'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be morning guys it's Saturday today and I'm just about to pack some parcels it is 9 10 so on Saturday mornings I don't know if you've noticed but I try and pack the parcels and then take them to the post office before 12 um, on the Saturday so I can get them all sent away one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve to do um, 13 because one is a large letter and I know someone's requested theirs to be packed on YouTube so I'm gonna do that today okay so the order is for Danica and Danica this is actually you've made my biggest order I'm pretty sure so far which is crazy star rattle in pink one of the silicon star stackers in purple thick ribbed bow headband in spice and stay <laughs> you can hear Daisy Dummy case in dusk. We have a woolly bear beanie in almond. We have a dummy clip in rose. And then dusty rose short and long sleeve organic essentials. Okay, so here is her order. I love everything that you've chosen. Obviously, I love everything that you've chosen. But her order is obviously for a little girl. So I'll put in a little extra hat for you. I might do this one. This is such a pretty color. It's called sea foam. There we go. And it's for three to six months as well. Okay, let's pack up this order. So I just went and double checked. This is why I always double or triple check and I forgot the sun teether and rose. So here we go, pop that one in too. And there you go, orange and grey. Okay, I'm gonna try my best to speed through these orders. Um, so I'm just gonna sit the camera down and film them. I hope you guys don't mind me doing that. I like to see all the things like being packed in there, but yeah, I don't know. Let me know if you want music to it, but I like the sounds that it makes without it, but whatever. Okay, here's today's parcels going out. These ones are actually quite full. I probably could have done with another bag, but I squished them in. And here's some new stock. These are the little crochet stars that I was talking about. They are so, so cute. So I'll have them up when everything else comes in and I'll launch them everything on the same day because the rainbows have not turned up yet. Off to the post office. 
Oh my god, these are so cute. They're really nice. Oh, they're really cute. Oh, they're gorgeous. They're really Hey guys, it's Monday today. I have just printed off my labels and I'm going to pack parcels. The first order I have is actually from Sandra. I think I had to pack her order on, I think it was YouTube. It might have been TikTok or Instagram. I can't remember. But the last couple that I filmed for Instagram, I actually didn't post, which is really bad. Anyway. Sandra left me a really lovely note. Hi Crystal, love the organic onesies. Thank you for the gift in the last order. Amelia is loving them. Can't wait to see what you bring out next. Much love, Sand. It's such a good feeling when I see, I think that this is Sandra's third order, which, wow. <laughs> but it's so lovely to see like returning customers and me kind of get to know them and then like especially if they post pictures of their little ones on instagram and i can see them now she has the star rattle in pink the silicon heart stucker set i feel like with these ones they look so much better in person i don't know what it is like the shape just doesn't photograph well or come off well in video i don't know but these are so so cute the silicon suction spoon and bowl in dusk and then a short sleeve organic essential in azure sandra has asked for less packaging so i really want to try and do like less packaging the trouble is with this one to protect it i need a bit of packaging especially like some um tissue paper and I have to send that in a box or oh, this will not fit in this box <laughs> so I'm gonna need a bigger box sometimes honestly more packaging is easier because I don't want people to receive their items and it be like looking really bad like the packaging does really the packaging does really hold it all in together like when I wrap it on top of that because this just kind of like you know moves around in the box. Someone mentioned about getting rid of the thank you cards. The thank you cards actually have a 10% off your next order coupon on there, like a code. Like I've always said this, I always try and give like a discount, whether it be a sign up to uh, the newsletter or when you purchase an order, you get a discount. And I always, you know, think that people use it even though a lot of people don't i don't know if a lot of people don't read these cards but like i don't know 10 percent off like this order came to over a hundred dollars i think and that would be a saving of ten dollars so sandra you need to use your coupon because <laughs> you didn't use it <laughs> like i mean i guess ultimately i could get some little like business card sized ones um so that there's less of them but um, I do want to include and I actually write a lot of thank you notes on the back of them um, So I like doing that and having a personal touch I know some people might think it's like a bit dated, but I really like doing that I like as I said before building a connection with my customers and also a lot of them are gifts And I just write a note on the back of this if they say like, you know, to so-and-so congratulations on your new baby um, love from so and so i do want to get some cards made up but um i just haven't had the time to look into it this might be something that i'll redo when i have some time so i'm just gonna pop it in like this oh, like i mean oh this actually kills me to put it in like this i don't know i really don't want it i'm gonna have to put it a bit of tissue over it because i like oh, i just can't physically do it i can't send a parcel off like this <laughs> Sorry to everyone who is trying to encourage me to do less packaging, but I just, like as a brand owner, that makes me so sad, like looking at this package. I tried, I tried, I just can't. You know, I do see some people go to like a lot more effort than what I do with packaging. Like some people send out like literally dried flowers. 
and go to a lot of effort with every single parcel. As someone who receives parcels and as someone, as a brand owner as well, I feel like to have that feeling when you first see the parcel and you know where it's from. Not like when you receive a parcel and either like a hero packaging or or no brand packaging and you're like, what's this? I don't even remember ordering it. I want people to see this and be like, oh yay, my dash my order's here. Which is why I have the satchels and like, and this packing tape. I mean, there are people that obviously, like from the feedback that you guys have given, you don't mind what your parcel comes like, but I, I just want to make an effort and I want to, sorry, I just had a phone call. So I received this package from a company and all that I was getting was like a mascara sized product, right? And it came in a box, which was probably this size, maybe a bit smaller, but like a lot thinner. And then in that was like a, it's not like this, but like a Ziploc bag. It was like fully branded, a lot better quality than this. And it was all shiny and like holographic and everything. And then inside was a box with the tube of product. And they sent me some free other things to go along with it. And there was like a thank you card and I think there might have been something else as well. The the box as well that it came in, the, the mailing box, was branded as well. And for me, like, that was a bit overkill. I wish I had that back to show you, but it was just... Like, they would have spent a lot of money on it. <laughs> I guess some people could say these, I only really use them when I'm sending out, if someone requests it, if I'm sending out, like, some silicon stack of toys or the truck set. They need to go in a calico bag because I just think that that would be silly not to include one. They need to be all kept together kind of thing. But yeah, I definitely don't use them as much as I thought that I would. So the main things that I use them for are the brush set and the pregnancy milestone discs and my milestone, the first year milestone discs, the silicon car and truck set. But in regards to packaging, like I think I do not too bad. I probably could do less packaging when people request less packaging. I don't want my parcels to turn up looking like poo either. So that's that.